Have you ever done drugs? Ooh. <laughs> Most exotic place you've ever had sex. Period sex. Ooh. Does your coochie ever smell? No. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm super excited because we are doing a girl talk. But, questions that you are too afraid to ask anyone. So, I'm excited because I feel like I got some really, really good questions. Before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to Ghost channel. And let's get into this juicy video. You guys, you're going to need some tea. You might need a drink because I think these are going to be some juicy questions. Let's get into the video. First question, you guys ready for this? Like I said, do you guys have your tea, your water, your liquor, whatever you need to do to get ready for these questions? Go do it right now. I'll give you five seconds. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. You guys ready? Okay. First question. Would you make an OnlyFans account? Look, if it came down to it, I would. I would. I lied. Honestly, guys, like, I've had this discussion with BJ. So, in order for me to make an OnlyFans account, I would only have to show, like, my feet, um, my hands. That's it. And I'm not bashing anybody who does OnlyFans. Like, hey, go get your bag. Go do what you got to do. Like, you know. But me, personally, I don't think I could be able to just put myself out there rather that's like me making like a, a sex tape or something or like me just posting my body i just i can't see myself doing that because in my mind i kind of think like okay the stuff that it's covered like my boobs my butt my coochie all that it's for my significant other not for the entire world to see i just think that's so personal do you guys feel me you guys feel me um but like i said hey whoever does only fans hey by all means go get your bag go do what you gotta do because hey like they make hella money excuse duke duke no over here duke said he wants to make an only fans account <laughs> question two worst period experience oh my god so guys, I started very young. I started very young. I was like 10 years old. I think, I believe I was 10 years, either 9 or 10 years old when I first started. So I was very, very young. And you don't learn about these things until I think like you're 11, 12. It was like in 5th or 6th grade, guys. At the time, so I didn't know like, okay, I had it every month. Like, my mom explained it to me, but I still, it still wasn't like, I was young, guys. So I still wasn't like... Oh, this week I started, you know, this week, whatever. And I would write in like a little notebook, like, okay, I started this week. I wouldn't start like next month on the same week or whatever, you know. So anyways, I wore some white pants. I wore some white pants. Can you believe I wore some white pants? Like, guys. <laughs> so guys, when I tell you, when I tell you I had some white pants on, and I think we're going to PE or I left PE, I was walking with blood all over the back of my butt. So, like, all this area, it was all red. And, bro, like, the fact that no girl saw me, but all the guys saw me, I was like, bro, are you kidding me right now? Like, I was so embarrassed, embarrassed. So, I, I, I guess I can say it was the most embarrassing experience i ever had with my period but it was like i just wanted to cry i didn't want to go to school no more um i kept telling my mom like no no like i was just so embarrassed guys it looked like i sat in some ketchup like ugh, like ew and it just looked so disgusting and i was just so embarrassed and yeah like i wanted to cry guys i really wanted to cry but yeah, that's what happens. A, hey, it's part of life. You know, it is what it is. I got bullied from it. Like all the guys that are bullying me, like, oh, ketchup ass, this and that. Like I was just like, okay. 
Have you ever done drugs? <laughs> yes guys i have done drugs um recently no like i do not do any of that um i did this when i was like 15 16 um i've smoked weed um that's about it <laughs> yeah the only thing i've done has been weed that's it guys and i haven't done it ever since i was like 16 um, I'm 22 now, so no, your girl does not do drugs now. Back then, yeah, your girl was like a pothead. <laughs> Have you ever stole anything? Um, yes, <laughs> I have. Um, like I said, when I was 15, 16, I stole a lot a lot and back then i used to steal like liquor i used to steal clothes i used to take off like the little monitor things guys i was bad i was i was just hanging around the wrong crowd of people okay um but other than that that was it that was the old nayeli if you guys know my past you guys will realize like oh shit yeah she went through some shit oh this is a spicy question you guys ready for this one you guys need to take a sip or something most exotic place you've ever had sex okay exotic i don't think it'll be that exotic but are you ready for this one the woods the woods i think that was my most like exotic experience i guess or exotic place yeah and then comes the fitting room the fitting room <laughs> guys oh these questions are making me hot they're making me hot <laughs> but yes guys um that was my most exotic place was the woods and i don't recommend one because I am terrified of creatures, so the whole time I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, is there a creature crawling in my ass? Is there... <laughs> recently, like, I'm... Guys, this is, like, my past. Like, you know, recently, no. Like, I'm just too... I just feel like I'm too old for that. Um, Like, you know, when you're a teenager, you're like, oh, I want to try this. Like, oh, I want to do it here. You know? Um but recently like no like i have a, a whole house like i can do it here like i don't need nobody like if i was doing it in my car i don't need nobody seeing me and just yeah like no i love doing girl talks because it's like i don't really have friends so the fact that i can sit and like sit and kind of just like gossip with you guys or just talk about things that we don't talk about you know or like because if i had like you know a best friend with me like 24 7 oh yeah like these things we would always talk about it but the fact that i don't really have friends and i'm just like always around bj it's like i like doing these girl talks because i feel like you girls are gonna comment down below and we're just gonna keep it going like it's just gonna be fun like i said i just love doing this because a lot of females go to google or rely on like their older sister or like a best friend to tell them like you know their experience or advice and i think this girl talk is just like very beneficial especially for females because we are sometimes afraid to ask other people or we're just like embarrassed but you know me answering these questions obviously i don't say the name who's like you know who asked me them but that's why i like these girl talks because it answers a lot of people's questions and we're gonna make this a thing okay you guys okay we're gonna make this a thing because i love doing girl talks with you i love it have you ever catfished someone no 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 there's like no no like no have you guys ever catfished somebody <laughs> comment down below if you've ever catfished somebody i've never ever catfished somebody like i just think that's pointless because at the end of the day they're gonna find out i think they're gonna find out like have you ever got have you guys ever watched like that catfish show like they're going to find out like you trying to catfish somebody and then that person's like hey let's facetime let's facetime and it's like the 10 times he's asked you and you said no like 
they're gonna start i would think they will start like questioning like why is this girl not facetiming me you know um but i'm sorry but some people are very like i don't want to use the word dumb but some people are very like blind to it like i don't even know how to explain it but no like i would never catfish somebody and if you do i'm sorry but like no we cannot be friends <laughs> period sex oh no 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 i'm sorry but i cannot i cannot just because like it's your blood it's your blood and it's just i can't like i can't even picture that like some people do it and like by all means go ahead do whatever makes you happy but for me period sex never i've never ever ever um i just think that's so disgusting i don't know if it will cause stds but just to me, I think it would just because it's like bacteria coming out of you. At that time, your body is cleaning itself. Like, so the fact that you're like having sex while your body is cleaning itself out is just like, ew. And two, I have a very, very heavy period. So it's like, no, now it really looks like, like ketchup and clumps. Like, ew, 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 ew. Like, no, guys, no period sex like a hell no i kind of want to know guys have y'all ever had period sex comment down below like i really want to know if people really do this <laughs> okay next question this is it's not a funny question but it's just like the way it's said but does your coochie ever smell no your coochie has its normal smell some people say it's that normal smell stinks but your coochie is supposed to smell like a coochie, okay? Now, if it smells like a like fishy tuna, something's wrong. Like for real, for real, girls, like go get checked. Um, but no, my coochie's never smelled like that. Um, my coochie has its normal scent, okay, ladies. Um, your coochie is supposed to have that normal scent. I know we want it to smell like roses and like water, but it smells like a coochie okay um now like obviously when i go to the gym and like i sweat so when i sweat like my butt is sweating my coochie is sweating um yes but that's like you know your your bo like that's your odor like it's not my coochie it's like the sweat you know your coochie smell is normal but not if it smells like fish or tuna go get checked <laughs> are butt pimples normal yes i think this is completely normal and I know there's a lot of females that are going to be like, Oh my god, I've never had a butt pimple. La, 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 la. Ladies, if we're keeping it real, which we always do on my channel, butt pimples are normal, okay? I personally shave my butt. Like any hair that I see, I'm going to shave it. Um, your butt crack has hair. I'm going to shave it. So even with the razor, you know, Sometimes you can get like those razor bumps or even like pimples. I know when I go to the gym, I sweat a lot in my butt area and like my coochie area. Um, so I tend to get like some butt pimples and it's normal. Now, I think if it's like a lot of butt pimples, I'm pretty sure you could go to a dermatologist or something so they can provide you something. But normally if I get a bump pimple... It's because like, okay, I went to the gym recently and like I really sweated back there Like I have one or like when I shave, you know, I get like a razor bump or you know A pimple comes out like guys These things are totally normal. So this is the last question and I picked this question because it was a very juicy question And I had to save it for last because who wouldn't want the best for last, you know? So you guys ready for this one? How will you know when you've had an orgasm? Ah! <laughs> ladies, 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 ladies. You will know. Okay? You will know. Trust me. Trust me. You will know. You guys ready for this? I'm going to give you some tea. So back then, I used to have to fake. Okay? I had to fake it till I make it. Okay, ladies? <laughs> I had to fake them. You know, I never knew 
what they were and I was like, you know, in P-O-R-N sites, um, they were like, so like, oh my God, you know, and I was like, what is that? Why am I not feeling that? Why not? And I was like, okay, is it me? I kept telling myself, why are you not having an orgasm? <laughs> so I had to tell myself, bro, like, what is wrong? What is wrong with me? Is it not working? Is she not working? Like, what, what the heck? Until I got with BJ, that's when I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. This is what it is. This is what it is. Mind blown. She is not broken. She is not broken. She just needed the right person to give her that little. <clears throat> that is my little tea I have for you guys. So yes, you will freaking know. You will know. I'm telling you. You will know. You will know. And when you do, come back to this video and comment down below that you know. Like, you know, like just says, look, comment down below when you know how it feels or what you know what it is and just say, I know, Nayeli, I know. And then I'll know what you're talking about, okay? <laughs> but yes, guys, like I said, you will know. You will definitely, definitely know. Look, now I'm like reminiscing, like, ooh. <laughs> um, but no, guys, like, for real, for real, um it just takes i wouldn't say a certain position it just takes a guy to know what he's doing okay that guy needs to know what he's doing in order to give you that okay and that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say now if you've been with your man for a while and you still don't know what it is Baby, you got to go find you a different person. Like, I'm sorry. But you got to go find you a different person who can make you whew, reach the stars, reach the sky, reach the clouds. Like, guys, I am telling you. If you're happy with your person, like, that's okay. Like, stay with them. Like, if you're happy without having to... Like, if you're happy with your significant other and he's never made you, you know, have that excitement but you're okay with that hey by all means keep your man keep him okay but i'm telling you ladies it takes the right man to give you that so that was a juicy question i had to save it for last this was a fun video i really enjoyed doing this video today um kind of made me laugh and kind of just made me like reminisce or things <laughs> comment down below if you guys would love more girl talks because i definitely would love more girl talks i really like doing this just talking to you guys about things that we are just too afraid to ask people you know it's normal i i'm even afraid to ask like you know my best friend that's like hey bitch how do you know when you've had an you know so it's just like no but anyways guys before we go you guys already know what to do. Make sure to like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to Ghost channel. Also, guys, before I forget, I am using the lashes in the style Amor from Illusion Shop. I will put their Instagram down below in the description. Make sure to go check them out and purchase yourself some lashes. I really love their lashes. They're very like easy to apply, and baby, they look amazing. Amazing! Till next time, bye!